Riviera High School. My name is Kelsey Blair. And I'm Trevor Lovelace. Our Water Sports recently ended and we'd like to show you a few highlights. First, we'd like to introduce Isaac Starks, the captain of the boys varsity basketball team. What was your favorite memory? Uh, when we played against Gustine, we ended up going into overtime. And uh, the whole crowd was in it, the bench was in it. We ended up losing by two, but that was the most exciting game for me. I'd like to introduce Katie Oliver, the captain of the girls varsity basketball team. So Katie, how did your season go? It was really good, it was really successful, and we made tons of memories with our coach and our teammates. Kyle Perkins, the captain of the wrestling team. So Kyle, what was your favorite memory? My favorite memory was when we were versing Waterford, and everybody thought Tiffany, uh, she had a 60 pounder, was going to lose uh, to this big, huge guy, and she pinned him in the first round. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Here's Taryn Fletcher, the captain of our varsity cheerleading team. So Taryn, how did the year go? Um, the year went really well. We learned a lot of new stunts and dances, and we all had a lot of fun and bonded, and we're really close to the team. Congrats to all our winter sports teams. Thanks for watching. Damn, that's ugly. Later. Prepare now for your SAT and ACT exams at Huntington Learning Center. Visit BrendaAthletics.com for information on family fitness. At GDI, we believe that our sole purpose is to help our clients achieve and secure their dreams. So for FFA Day, the video arts crew came out, interviewed some people, looked at the animals, here's what we got. Today we are having FFA Day. We're showing the many stations that we do at FFA. Um, what we're doing is we just show the many different activities you can do in FFA, like sheep, um, geoscience, mechanics, and well. There we had our officer team um, group up, and we all chose different parts of what our ag program has. And we decided, well, I'll take hogs and I'll take uh, sheep or whatever. And so each officer had their own little group. They got people from that group. They got someone who's done sheep before, someone who's been in Ag Bio, someone who's been in Ag Geo. What they're doing, they're basically just like talking about why they are in this project and what they like about it and some interesting facts. And the kids have to go around and figure out facts for their homework. I have Mr. Goki, and we're engineering, so all we had to do was like observe. And at first, I thought FFA was kind of boring, but after like coming out and looking at all the animals and stuff, it's actually pretty cool. It's pretty chill. As you can see on the one that's standing up, the thing hanging from his stomach is his umbilical cord because he's still pretty fresh. Uh, when they're born, the calves are about 50 to 60 pounds. So, this, yeah, they're all still really young. Um, in the bottle, this is the formula that you used to feed them. You fill it up with warm water, like the baby's formula, and you give it to them. All right, Pittman, so make sure you guys come out. Support FFA as well as some of the other clubs we got on campus.